I'm Kaz Parker for MMH, the home of rock radio. And today I'm joined by the fabulous Rob Wild of the marvellous Midnight City. Thank you so much for catching up with me. How are you? I'm doing great, Kaz. Thank you so much for having me on your show. You're very, very welcome. Well, we'll put it out on the social media, won't we? So it'll be good. This will go out on video. Everyone will be able to see it all. (laughs) Sounds good. Sounds good to me. Yeah. I'm really happy to, inter- to be interviewing you today ahead of something really exciting that's happening in February this month. And that is the, I'm going to read it in case I get it wrong, the They Only Come Out at Night Tour, which of course is the name of a track off the latest album. But you've got six dates coming up across the UK, starting in Birmingham on the 11th of Feb. So you last toured properly in August. So how does it feel to be coming back out again and kind of doing it properly this time? Less oh. restrictions. Exactly. It feels great because um, we we really enjoyed the August tour, the Each Can't Scratch tour, which was our first time playing again in, um, God, like, you know, two a year and a half or whatever at that point. The last time we played prior to that was when we went out to Australia uh, in March of 2020, right before, literally like a week before. We, we were so lucky to be able to do that because wow. we, we literally landed back in the UK and that was when it was all like a week later that was when it all kicked off yeah um so we had a massive gap of you know of, of not doing anything and and the 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 August tour was great but it was still you know there's still a lot of people kind of a little bit afraid to come out to gigs and stuff and it was kind of like kind of weird time where it wasn't everything wasn't completely back to normal and it's kind of looking like things are going to be back to normal you know it, it, um, you know everything's kind of moving in the right direction so we're, we're really looking forward to this tour uh like i say six dates um you know we, we're just raring to go as in you know as every other band is you know after being kind of uh, out of action for such a long time you know so we're we're very excited so uh, yeah. yeah looking forward to it very much all right so what can people expect from the shows then um, well, we, we've changed the set list, list up a little bit. Um, we, we've got a, a couple of uh, different songs from uh, well, you know the, the set list that we did in August. Um, obviously, all the all the uh, the songs that people want to hear are always going to be in the set list. So all the all, all the all the bangers, all the bangers are in there. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But we've 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 mixed it up a little bit this time around. You know, we've got we're opening up with a different song and. Uh, we, we're actually playing, uh, which I think we'll, we'll touch on a little bit later on. We're actually playing uh, a, a brand new song off one of the uh, reissues that we've got coming out. Uh, we're going to be playing that one live. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's like Midnight City. You know, it's like the the ultimate party rock band. You know what I mean? It's like, it, and I think for people that have just been not been able to do anything for so long, and we're we're definitely the band to come out and have a good time too. You know. Ah, uh, for sure. Right. Absolutely. So, okay, then. So you heard it here, people. These shows are going to be epic. It's going to be a party. Go and get your tickets. So we've got shows in Birmingham, Swansea, Blackpool, Newcastle, Sheffield and Grimsby. So they're all over the place. So there literally is no excuse. There's no excuse to miss one, is there? So what people need to do is finish watching this and then straight away afterwards, because they won't be able to multitask, straight away, <laughs> get on your little phone, book your ticket, get, get it sorted. So there we go. Okay, then. So Tell me then, Rob, what is your favourite Midnight City track to play live, and why? Ooh, that's a good, that's a good, that's a good question. Um, God, it's kind of like asking who you sort of like your favourite family member is. Really, <laughs> uh, it's a it's a tough one because I I genuinely love all the songs, um, and uh, I, I I like them all for different reasons. But um, I think "Give Me Love" is probably the uh, that's kind of like our our sort of um i don't know uh, some people have said that's kind of like you're living on a prayer sort of thing that's, anthem. Our, that's kind of our anthem you know yeah. it's kind of it's going to take a lot to beat that one and, and that's the song where it's just most of our songs you know when we look at the audience everybody it's great because it's such a positive style of music and it's everybody's yeah. up just smiling from you know there's nothing serious there's nothing heavy about it um but that song in particular seems to uh seems to really connect with people in a, in a big big way um you know i've had some you know the, the you know a ton of people got like tattoos and stuff with with yeah. lyrics from that song and yeah and it's become you know um somebody got married to it not long ago when, like, nice. like their, their first song after which was absolutely i mean what a compliment you know yeah. as a songwriter you know to have that but you know it, it's just um it's just i mean it, it's impossible to kind of do that song and not just have a 
massive grin on your face. So I, th- I think that's that's got to be the one. But honestly, I, I love them all. I'm, I'm a little yeah. bit bi- a little bit biased, obviously. But <laughs> there you go. it's usually a favourite though, for whatever reason. But no, if it's it, you're right, that that's definitely made anthem status. If people are having it as their wedding song as well, I that's think really so. Cool. Yeah, what an honor, no, you just yeah. you need to clock it all now. You need one someone to have it as a funeral song. Somebody to have it for <laughs> it's for yeah 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 um prom dance i don't know we'll have to have it for one for everything absolutely absolutely yeah <laughs> uh, fab. okay then so it hasn't escaped my notice that there's also a london show as well so i mentioned all the others but 4th of march london vinyl release show so shall we have a little talk about that so you've got itch you can't scratch which was obviously your fourth album released which was only last year and it's coming out on vinyl in translucent red or solid silver, which I think both of them sound rather pretty. They do, yeah. I, I can't, I can't wait to see it myself. It's uh, and it's also even better than that. It's actually a, a gatefold sleeve as well. Fancy, so, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I didn't actually find that out until quite recently. I was like, oh no way, that, that's going to be awesome. So yeah, it's there's been a few delays on it um, over the past sort of. It, it, it was actually supposed to be coming out when the album was released back in June, but there's actually been a lot of, um, uh, with other bands as well, but the delays of pressing plants and stuff like that. So it yeah. got delayed a few times, but it, it's, I spoke to our label the other day, I spoke to the pressing plant the other day, it is 100% coming out on, on March the 4th. Uh, so if you pre-ordered it, you will definitely get it um, on March the 4th, if not beforehand. Uh, like I said, red, red or silver vinyl. Uh, you can still get it if you've not already ordered it uh, via roulettemedia.co.uk. Here we go. And, Sales pitch there for you. There we go. Yeah. It, it, always, always. Uh, not hard always people. Stuff. <laughs> the hard sell. Um, and um, yeah, we're doing a, uh, a, a like a vinyl release show in London uh, yeah. at uh, the Dublin Castle on yeah. uh, March 4th. So that's, it's going to be great because we, we, we don't play in London a lot. I mean, you played the Underworld um, with with uh, with Vega a couple of years ago, and we and we did uh, we did a show. Uh, I think it was like 2018 as part of um, our Here Comes a Party tour. Uh, but we don't get down to London a, a great deal, so it'll be cool to um, mm. you know. I think by the sounds of it, our, our label are, are inviting a lot of uh, you know kind of uh, you know magazine peeps and you know, record label people and stuff like that. A lot of the industry people are coming down to that one as well. So it should be really cool. It's just, as far as I'm aware, it's just us playing. So, yeah. uh, and uh, obviously it's kind of like a, a mix of, you know, the gig and the kind of the, the vinyl release party. So it should, should be a good night. Yeah. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, yeah, like you say, people need to get it. I mean, you can't go wrong with red or silver. So I know. Like, and and too- gatefold. Hang on a minute. And gatefold. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I'm what a last massive- you need. I'm a massive Kiss fan, so it's kind of like I'm like, oh, okay, full sleeve it, you know. Yeah. It won't be quite as cool as a live too, but uh, it's the next best thing. Yeah, you know? exactly, exactly. Yeah. Oh, um, okay then. This I'm going to put this one on you again, and you're not going to like it. But what's your favourite track off the album? Oh, right. <laughs> of it, you can't scratch. Uh, my my favourite track off the album is um, a song called "I Don't Need Another Heartache," which is. Um, probably one of the more the, the poppier songs on the album um it should have really been a single i don't know i was always like gunning for that to be one of the singles mm. and uh, i kind of got outvoted uh, by the record label who went with a, a couple of other songs but um yeah to me that's um that's my favorite song on the album and oh. we, it's always it's always in a set as well it's going to be in the set for the uh the february tour as well so yeah. it's just again just a real feel good um just classic sort of like midnight city song really yeah Ah, I think, do you know what? My favourite's Atomic. Oh, that's a cool one as well. You know, that was really cool. I love it. Yeah, that was kind of like a, 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 an interesting one, really, because that was we did that as a second single and, and uh, did, a, did a really fun video for that one. It was kind of, uh, uh, we got a couple of uh, a good friend of ours who, who kind of helped us out with a video, good tongue in cheek video. But that was, you know, obviously it was a massive, massive Def Leppard sort of <laughs> yeah. uh, thing going on there. It was kind of like, it was almost like Def Leppard meets Warren, you know, which yeah. are like two, okay. you know, two, two of my favourite bands. I mean, you, you can't go wrong really with mixing those two bands together. Really, you really can't. So. No, you really can't. <laughs> two of my favourite bands as well. That's probably why then. That's probably why that one was my favourite. Um, it wasn't the only one, but uh, that was that was just you know, if you've got to pick one, which that's my that's my question. I'm making you pick oh, one just to make it go. torturous. So there yeah. you go. Um, 
Okay, so I also, also, also heard a rumour you're re-releasing the first two albums as well. So the self-titled Midnight City from 2017 and There Goes Neighbourhood from 2018. 2018. And those are going to be re-released on CD, I believe. So is that, am I right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Well, um, tell yeah, us about that then. Well, basically what happened was um, we, we switched labels uh, for, for Itch Can't Scratch, we, we, uh, which came out on Roulette Media. The, the first two albums um, came out on AOI Heaven. Uh, which is a German label. And um, last year, we actually kind of got the rights back to the both albums. And uh, we've had an issue for a while where we, we haven't actually had the copies. I mean, obviously, you can, you can stream both the first two albums, but yeah. we didn't actually have physical copies of the C- We haven't had physical copies of the CDs for, for a long time. So, you know, when we're playing shows and stuff, we, you know, people will come up and, will, you know, where's your first two albums? And we're like, well, we, we literally don't have any copies left, mm. you know, and the record label doesn't have any copies. And uh, I think really the only place you can, if you're looking to get either of those albums, the only place you can really get them is sort of like on, on eBay nowadays, you know, mm. which are going for, especially like the Japanese release, they're going for stupid money. It's like, like 100 quid or something. Oh, wow. So, so we uh, we said well you know we got the rights back to them so um, we decided to we reissue them ourselves um, and to make it a bit bit more uh, exciting for people uh, we we there's two bonus tracks on each CD right. so we've we've included the the Japanese bonus track for for both albums and then at the end of last year we went in the studio and recorded two absolutely spanking brand new songs. Uh, and one's on the first album and one's on the second album. Uh, and um, they, they came out so well um, that um, the, 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 the new song on There Goes Neighborhood, which is a song called Rock in a Hard Place, um, they came out so, so, so great that um, I think it was Pete that said, we should totally like do a video. So literally after Christmas, we shot, a, straight after Christmas, I think it was January the 2nd, we shot a video for Rock in a Hard Place. And that's going to be coming out this Friday. Um, so we got like a brand new video, which kind of it's kind of cool because it kind of promotes the tour, but it also promotes the fact that we, the, you know, because people will be like, oh, you know, but this isn't off each can scratch. So it's, mm. it's kind of promoting the fact that we've got the reissues out. So uh, we're really excited about it. Um, they're, they're going to be um, initially available because we're all about trying to get people to buy physical CDs, yeah. you know um so uh initially they're, they're going to be available at, at, at the shows on on the tour in february and then once the tour is done um they're going to be uh, available uh, via our website so you'll be able to to actually order them so we've a, a ton of people i've got like a list this long of people who uh you know won't be able to make the shows or maybe people who are abroad or whatever um so once the tour is done they'll be available to, to order from us as well so right. uh so yeah, we, we're really excited. I think people will really like the new songs, especially the, the new single, which is coming out uh, on Friday. Um, it's uh, very, very cool. Again, I'm, I, I know I'm biased, but it's a very cool song. <laughs> no, it's all right. This is your chance to show off. This is what it's all about, isn't it? If you don't believe in it, then no one else is going to. So you've got it. You've got to say, look, we worked hard on this. We did a great job. Absolutely. Nothing yeah. Wrong with so, that. yeah. So, so yeah, we're looking forward to those coming out. The new, new songs very got very much that, that kind of give me love type feel to it as well. Okay. So, and the video is great. So, uh, so yeah, that, that's, you know, again, and we're, and we're hoping that maybe people who, who have, who already have the first two yeah. CDs might, you know, buy them again because of the extras. So, you know. Well, also the best advice right now is if you are in the middle of bidding on one on eBay and you're trying to make someone else rich, <laughs> don't do it there's no exactly point. yeah Give the money to the band and buy the, the the cds direct from them so there you go yeah and another, th- another thing we're doing to kind of add to that is that, that you know we're, to get to encourage people to actually buy the physical cd is that uh, the the reissues aren't going to be available to stream so ah. you know, if you, if you, basically if you want to hear the new songs you go buy the the albums the, the new okay. cds you know so yeah, yeah it'd be a little bit of a kind of market employer there but uh, we're all about we're very like old school in that respect yeah. and but you know i you know if you like a band you know yeah. just, just buy the cds you know what? You know, it goes for every band out there you it know, does but, yeah but, I, yeah. And I, I'd like to believe that most people in the rock scene do kind of understand that, you know, buy the T-shirt, buy the CD, because people, and like you say, people have been asking you for them. 
So yeah. that tells you something that tells you that people do want to still physically own it. And it's, you know, it's the album artwork as well. It's not just the physically, because I mean, I, I buy CDs all the time from bands and the vinyls, but obviously I also, I also pay to download it from Apple or whatever as well, because yeah. it's convenient yeah. to have it on my phone because then I've got it in the car and, you know, the annoying thing is they don't have CD players in cars anymore. <laughs> real, that's a real killer though. So yeah, like, but it doesn't yeah, stop right. me buying it because I still like to own it as well. You know, even though most of the time I'm playing it off my phone, I'm I'm still, I will still have a CD. I've got a huge CD collection. So me yeah. Too. Me too. <laughs> and, but, and of course with vinyl coming back, it's just, vinyl, there's something beautiful about vinyl, isn't there? there I've really never, got, is. never got rid of any of my vinyls, which I'm pleased about. Um, but there's just something beautiful about it. It's lovely. Uh, I totally agree. I totally agree. Yeah. So no, it's good. And it's good that that's back in vogue as well, definitely. So yeah, so I'm ho hopefully people will go out and buy it because as we know, it's a better way to support the musicians than streaming it. So if people don't already know that, oh, there's another oh, lesson for them. This yeah, shows an yeah. education. <laughs> yeah, we make, we make no money from streaming. Let's put it that way. Exactly. So, it's pittance, yeah. isn't it? Wouldn't even yeah. pay for a penny suite. No. Mm -hmm. uh, right then okay so for the rest of the year so you've got this tour and then it feels like you've got I don't know I mean I haven't even written I've written some of the stuff down that I know about like uh you've got Call of the Wild, Hard Rock Hell Ibiza, Indoor Festival in Germany there's something with Twister as well in July because I'm really good friends with Twister as well but there's so much coming up I haven't even like got it all written down so is there anything I've missed there that's uh, yeah I've actually got a list in front of me oh, so go I'll then. go through so yeah we We've got the uh, we got the tour, and then uh, let me let me have a look here. Let's let's see what's going on. Um, so then we yeah we got the tour. Then we then we we've got the Fine. final release show yep. in uh, March fourth in London. Uh, then we're we're doing Hard Rock Hell Ibiza, which will be cool. Yes, uh, I'm there. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. We, we will see you there. We'll have some have some cocktails and stuff. Yep. Uh, in the sunshine, rock and roll mm -hmm. sunshine. You know, it sounds great. So uh, that's in May. And then we've got uh, Call of the Wild. Yeah, um, I'm there as well. <laughs> brilliant. And, and then we're doing a Breaking Bands Festival. Oh, yeah. Um, in uh, That's in June. And then we're also doing Hard Rock Hell AOR in Manchester at the Ritz, which will be, that'll be really cool. That's in June. Yeah. Um, and then we've got the, the show that you were talking about. Uh, that's in Billsley uh, on July the 29th. Uh, we've got uh, Twister are uh, going to be opening up for us on that. So that'll be that'll be a cool show. Then we've got Indoor Summer in Germany. Uh, we've got another festival in France uh, in October. And then we round up the year in November. We're doing Fiend Fest, which is kind of like the, the rock Fiend Fest. And that that's a great lineup. There's some really cool bands on that. But, but we're headlining on the, the Friday night, uh, November the 18th there. So... Yeah, we got we got quite a lot happening, you know, some really cool festivals and, you know, um, just again, like making up for lost time, you know, making up yeah. for two years and not being able to really do very much of anything. So, yeah. And yeah, the cool thing is great. it does feel as if they're all going to happen as well. That's the good thing, because I think so. Yeah, it's looking that so. way. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah, yeah. It, it really is looking that way. I mean, we, we had confirmation uh, actually just this weekend that um, Ibiza is definitely, definitely, definitely going ahead. Good. So, uh, so that's, that's going to be good. good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm that, relieved about that. <laughs> that's like a little exclusive. You heard it here first, people. It's definitely yeah. happening. <laughs> so yeah, if not, you can go what... and you can give Rob a call if not, and you can say, "Well, hang on a minute, I'll book my flights." <laughs> yeah, blame me, blame me, blame me. <laughs> so, uh, we, you know, we're just really encouraging people to to really, you know, especially like this tour we got coming up. You know, people to come out to the gigs because it's. You know, it's it's as safe as it's gonna be nowadays. You know, you know, ninety five percent of people are double double jabbed and boosted and stuff. And you know, it's uh, so it's time to just start living again. You know, we've so. got to, haven't we? Yeah, absolutely. we absolutely have. So, okay, so you are busy, as we know, really busy. Um, is there anything we've talked about so much stuff? And I don't know if there is going to be anything left, but I always have to ask if there's any secret stuff. Like I like to see if I can get an exclusive. And it's probably <laughs> there's probably nothing left now. But if there was anything that's, you know, um, maybe I, I'm just trying to think. Well, you know, they, they kind of the new videos that that, that, okay. that we got coming out on Friday. We've not really yeah, we're actually going to like post about it tomorrow. But we we've been keeping that on the wraps really because that was something we did. 
uh, that we didn't really tell anybody about. So that's kind of a little bit of a kind of a secret thing. But um, apart from that, you know, I think we pretty much covered it. I mean, um, uh, I can't think of anything else that we've got. Um, you know, we, uh, like I said, this year is just really all about, uh, you know, making up for lost time, really, you know, yeah. and... Uh, that should be the name of the tour. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, that could have been a that, that could be a good name. Yeah, making uh, up for lost time. Yeah, mind definitely. you, that would be every band's tour name if uh, <laughs> it would. Yeah, yeah there is exactly. kind of a theme, isn't there? So yeah, perhaps there perhaps is. not. But um, <laughs> uh, all right. Do you know what? I think we've got time for some random questions. Oh my god! Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We love I've got them. no idea what these are going to be, so we'll, we'll see. What I happens. know. And this is the thing. I'm going to try and make it different because I know you look. You watched my last interview, so I don't want it. Yeah. And, and if anybody else watched the last one, I don't want them saying I'm a one trick pony and I've only got the same <laughs> questions because I have loads of questions. Cool. But Let's go for anyway, it. let's start with this one's not so random. It's quite a nice one actually. Have you ever met any of your musical heroes that have made you starstruck? Has anyone ever made you starstruck? Yes. Yeah. 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 A few. A few people. Um, I, I've been. I've been lucky enough to to meet pretty much all of my childhood idols at some point or other um uh we i was lucky enough uh with tiger tills to do the uh the kiss cruise, kiss cruise yeah. back in uh 2014 so i got to meet old kiss and yeah. uh and having a chat with paul stanley was just kind of like one of those you know i'm like the biggest kiss free comment so so that was kind of like one of those kind of like pinch me sort of moments mm. uh, i that was incredible um, I was also really lucky enough. I used to live in the States. Um, God, like back in like 2007 to 2010. And uh, I met so many of, you know, of my idols there. Um, I remember I actually went out to, to dinner with uh, Janie Lane before he no. died. Wow. Yeah, I went to an Italian restaurant with him with, and a couple of, a couple of friends after, after one of his shows and, and get, got to hang out with him all night and um uh same with cc deville from poison and, and um you know I, I, they, you know they're, they're like three of my did you ever fans, so. did you ever have the moment though where you think i can't be cool right now <laughs> yeah, well sweats, yeah it's kind of sweats coming out of you and, <laughs> yeah, and you're that, tripping over that was kind of especially with paul stanley and it was right. kind of but it was funny i was actually talking about this yesterday but it, when i met him he, he had you know he he had the makeup on so mm. i i was kind of having this conversation and it was only when i kind of walked away that i'm just kind of like i think the girl i was with at the time just said do you realize you've just been you know having a conversation with it did kind of seem real somehow because of the almost seemed like i was talking to a guy just in you know i think i'd have been probably a bit more nervous if he, i'd have been face to face with him without the makeup you know yeah. sort of thing but um yeah, I've been lucky enough to meet. Uh, yeah, there's, there's uh, you know many more, but I've been lucky enough to to meet most of my uh, and, and play with most of them and, mm. and and tour with most of them as well. So uh, so yeah, I've, I've been lucky in that respect. Yeah, no, I know it's cool, and it's you know what, it's nice when you meet people and you don't trip over yourself or like. <laughs> Be cool, be cool. Be cool, <laughs> yeah. be cool. But I do love those moments. I love I love those moments where you think I wasn't cool because I was too starstruck. But anyway. Yeah, right, I, and... I, I think I'm trying to play cool. I, to be honest with you, I probably was like a little little like girl meeting take that or something. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. In my head, I was cool. I probably wasn't. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> At least you didn't vomit on his shoes or anything. That's what I would have done. I'd have no, been like, well, the nerves. <laughs> 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 All right. So. Okay, then, if you were a wrestler, what would be your choice of ring entrance music? Oh, wow, that's a good, that's a good question. Yeah, you mm. weren't expecting that, were you? You weren't prepped for that one. <laughs> I wasn't. You know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just straight off the head, straight off the top of my head, I'd maybe War Machine by Kiss. Oh, cool. cool. Yeah, you know, yeah. Get me, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I think that would work. Get you feeling feisty. Yeah, yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, all right, then, if you could possess any superhero power, what would it be? Oh, to time travel. Ooh. Is that a I don't know. Is that a superpower? I don't we'll know. make it a superhero. We'll power. make it. It's like, not really super. But so yeah. where do you want to go? Because you're quite definite about that. So have you got? Do you yeah. want to go back or forward? I, I obviously I want to go back. I want to go back to um, let's say let's let's go back to 1987 and be doing what we're doing, but back then. <laughs> and I think we'd kind of like be, uh, we, we'd be selling a few more albums, I think. <laughs> yeah, wow. You know, we'd be doing a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I, I, I would love to have kind of 
you know, uh, kind of just been around at that peak mm. of that scene that I'm just, I mean, I, I still live that life all the time, like in my head. And I mean, you know, I, 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 I'm in a time warp and I'm, I'm very happy to admit that I live in a time warp. And, you know, I, in my head, it's always 1988, you know what I mean? So Nothing wrong with that. No, and it's kind of like, it goes into the music. I mean, you know, and, but the thing is, I, I never pretend to be, you know, I, I admit it, you know, I, I'm totally, you know, obsessed with that time in, in music and that style and that look. And, uh, you know, it's just a magical time for me. So, so I, I'd absolutely love to go back to uh, to that kind of, golden era of, of hair metal shall we say yeah no I agree with you I think it'd be called I was about 14 then so or 13 in 19 yeah in 1987 so yeah I couldn't, I couldn't appreciate it like I would have done if I was you know 30. yeah I, I, I it's kind of like yeah I kind of missed out on it I was like you know a little kid back then but uh mm-hmm. yeah I would love to have kind of been you know part of that whole scene it would have been yeah. amazing you know yeah. I still had the massive hair though. I did that. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah my definitely. God. I couldn't go back to that. That's the only thing I couldn't do is go back to my massive hair because it wasn't a really it wasn't a good look. Every now and again you'll see me pop a photo on Facebook and everybody laughs. But I used to do that. It's hard work as well, getting getting that oh, hair up. Lord. There. And it's getting amazing. to stay up there is even even you know, Yeah, and I think that hole in the ozone layer was my fault. <laughs> you're to blame Kaz yeah I used to use VO5 mega hold the thing was like super glue it was incredible but yeah also I've probably yeah. breathed in a lot of that as well. I'm sure that's not good <laughs> <laughs> thank great. god we moved on thank god we, we moved on to slightly better hair so yeah, yeah. V8 is but with better hair for me Absolutely. personally anyway yeah. um all right then okay oh have you got any okay this is a funny one well I think it is have you got an embarrassing childhood crush Oh God, that's a good one. Um, hmm, embarrassing. I, I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say embarrassing, but I used to really like Debbie. Do you remember Debbie Gibson? Yeah. <laughs> it's probably aging us a little bit here, but uh, I used to really like Debbie Gibson. Um, which she, I don't know if like, that's embarrassing though, because I think she really she was very beautiful. So yeah, she was quite hot, and she was kind of. But it was kind of like for me, it was kind of embarrassing because I was you know, a, a little rocker dude. Trying you know. to be a well hard rocker. Yeah, you know, <laughs> listening to, 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 to Kiss and Poison and, you know, and all these bands. And then I, I secretly also owned uh, Electric Youth on cassette, uh, <laughs> the album. Um, so, yeah, it probably, probably would be Debbie Gibson, I think, yeah. Oh, that's good. No, well, I'm going to fess up here. I know it's not my interview, but my embarrassing childhood crush, Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> Oh, wow that it that, that's just odd that's I know weird. no yeah. but when he had his handsome head on not when he had his normal head ah, and yeah, I quite liked I his clever the clever head was good as well you know that was a bit I, of a thing I remember me and my sister <laughs> used to watch that every like Saturday tea time yeah it was uh it used to what, what's really weird about words of gummage was I he always he, he kind of frightened me a little bit I don't know he, he was kind of like a I, I don't know I, I was quite young but he used to frighten me I you know yeah. so. Looking That's back, really... it, it was creepy as fuck, really, looking back. But obviously, evidently, I quite fancied him, which is weird. That, that is really weird. <laughs> I think Your I just... definitely beats mine, that's for sure. <laughs> I think I just wanted to be Aunt Sally. That was probably what it was. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> right, let's do a couple of would you rathers, and then we can go back on track to a sensible question. So, um, <clears throat> being as we're talking about the 80s, would you rather have the General Lee or Knight Rider's kit? Oh, it's got to be Knight Rider got to be night rider yeah a, a car that drives itself i know you could get drunk and also and also talks to you you know <laughs> it's, yeah. uh, how amazing would that be you know i absolutely hate driving so like the kit would be you know my dream come true to be honest yeah with you. <laughs> uh, i know i always used to think if the car drives itself why does he bother driving it ever wouldn't you just like always let it do it read a yeah. book you know you would do really wouldn't you yeah, yeah you would yeah. really so I don't know um anyway all right then would you rather um I'm trying to mix them up would you <laughs> rather have vaginas for ears or penises for arms <laughs> um that's a I'm gonna put probably I think penises for arms I think oh, <laughs> you put a lot of thought into that as well so there must yeah, be a good reason. Kind of, that, yeah it's an odd question but there we go I know yeah. it's an odd question it's meant to be it's in the random question section yeah yeah there we go <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll go with the penises. <laughs> All right, well, we won't ask why then, but as long as, as, long as you're happy with your penis arms. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you could have loads of fun with them. Yeah. Um, and adapt them for playing the guitar as well. Oh, there of you go. You could do anything with them, really. Imagine. I know. Yeah. <laughs> so, all right then. If Netflix were going to make a series about your life, would you rather they got the material from interviews with your exes or hidden cameras in your house? Oh, God. I think interview with my exes would be just, that would that would kill me. Yeah. Well, let's not go with that one. We'll go with the other one. <laughs> go with the other one. To be hidden fair. Cameras. Hidden, hidden yeah. cameras. The hidden um, cameras would be great because everyone would get to see Amy. <laughs> they would, and everybody would just like, tune in to see her anyway. Yeah, Cause, exactly. Cause, you know, you know, I, I'm really not, you know, uh, uh, aside from playing gigs and stuff, when I'm at home, I'm really not that interested. You know what I mean? I'm just kind of like sitting on on the couch watching TV. So at least, at least they could check Amy out. And, exactly. Uh, see what's going on with her. You know, <laughs> she's always up to something fun. Uh, yeah. All right then. The most random one, and I, and I know I've asked this before to, uh, in other interviews, but I'm still going to ask it because it's still my favourite of all time. Would you rather have a 12-inch belly button that sways to the music, any music, whenever it's on, it'll wiggle out of your clothes and start swaying, or accordions for legs? Freaking hell. I think accordions for legs, I think. Oh. Yeah, yeah I'm going to go with that one. Yeah, definitely. That, yeah, they're both kind of, again a little bit odd, but uh, I think <laughs> yeah. option two for me, Kaz. Yeah, I know. I think I'm gonna have to find some new questions, but I can't <laughs> get away from that one because it's my favorite. That's a good it's, one. That's a good it's, one. It's so bizarre that you you can't. There is no wrong answer really, and there is definitely no right answer to that. <laughs> there is most really, oddest thing ever. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. So yeah, <laughs> there you go. That's the kind of thing you find when you're digging around on Google. <laughs> or would you rather <laughs> stole it? Uh, right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. If that's a bit. Uh, that's, I think that's quite enough randomness. So um, <laughs> I'm going to wrap it up. So finally, go on then. One piece of wisdom or advice for everybody that's watching this, just to help them stay happy and positive, because it's still it's still in weird times, and it's just mm. always nice. What would your your suggestion be? Uh, my suggestion would always be follow. It, it's cheesy as hell, but always follow your heart and, and follow oh. your dreams. You know, because you know, as only you can make them happen. You know, you, if you got a dream, you want to do something, you can do anything, absolutely anything you set your mind to. You know, I'm kind of like, uh, you know, a lot of the things when I was a little kid. You know, I, 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 I dreamed of, you know, meeting Kiss. I dreamed of going to J- Japan. I dreamed of, you know, a million things that have happened. You know, but it, mm. you've just got to believe in yourself and 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 make it happen you know because you can achieve anything you want to achieve if you work hard enough you know but that's that's the key to it is hard work you know because yeah. it's kind of like you know and I, I said this to like I was told somebody the other day and it's kind of like you in this day and age you know it's like obviously you know if you're talking about music and bands and stuff you obviously got to be talented and you've got you've got to you know write good songs and all the rest of it but that's still only a small percentage of it the rest is how hard you push it and and how hard you work at it you know because yeah. Yeah, that's what it's all about and uh, but yeah just just if you got something you want to do just go for it and uh, yeah you know, and, uh, well you're right you make your own look don't you in some you respects do. so you, you, do, you, you know. know if you if you sort of a bit realistic but at the same time dream big yeah, yeah you exactly. Make your own look. You put put the work in, and and hopefully it will come. So yeah, yeah, keep your feet on the ground, but you, your head up here. That's that's yeah, that's yeah, my, absolutely. My I'm sure it's is it is it Pretty Woman where it says at the end, everybody's got a dream. What's your dream? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I'm I'm like I love that. Yeah, I'm like the, the biggest <laughs> like I, I love chick flicks. It's terrible. My like street creds going right out the window. But like you know, Amy's just like you. You like the 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 shit is, movies ever you know what I, mean? it's just like, I should have put some questions in about that then What's oh yeah, 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 yeah next next time we'll have to do a chick flick uh question absolutely yeah, oh absolutely. brilliant well listen thank you rob thank you so much because it's been absolutely awesome catching up with you i've really really enjoyed this so i hope everybody else enjoys it as much as i have when they watch it back um and we'll try and get it out because we've talked about um the single and the video being released friday so i'll try and get this out this could be going out on that day so let's say that it's today because obviously we've got to just do a little little edit jobby just put the idents on the end and get it out on the socials so hopefully at the point when everyone's watching this 
they'll be able to get it. Amazing, amazing. Exactly. No, Thank you so oh, yeah. much for having me, Kaz. It's, oh, been, my... uh, it's been great talking to you. <laughs> no, you're very welcome. So I'm just going to do one last quick sales job for you at the end. So I've been Kaz Parker. You've been Rob Wild from Midnight City. And don't forget, people, there is a tour in February. This is about to end, so you've got no excuse. You've finished watching. Get on your little phones and buy some tickets. Make a little plan and go to the shows. It's not hard. Don't get FOMO because you will have me and Rob Twance too if you're not at least one of them. <laughs> Absolutely. Or, and the other thing they can do is go and pre-order the vinyl as well. So there's so much for them to do. I mean, you know, we've got we've got their evening covered now, haven't we? They've watched this and now they've got things to do. Yeah, they've got they've got some jobs to do now. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you so much. Thank right you so then. much, Kaz. See ya. Bye, everybody. Bye.